Scott, over the years, the guys have shown us all the tools they keep in their uh, their aprons. And you guys, you electricians, you've got the smallest pouches, we which do. means you really have the fewest tools. We do. I mean, we don't have a lot. This is it right here. Voltage tester, a couple of screwdrivers, a multi-tool, um, diagonal cutters, needle nose. But I can't live without these two right here. So if you only had two, you'd grab these? This, I'll tell somebody to buy only two. Also, if they can have a little homeowner's kit, this is it. Lineman's pliers and a cabinet tips, flat tip screwdriver. And you guys never put the linemans down. No, don't I sleep with them. All right, all right so you use it for all the obvious things, yeah. right? Cutting wires, splicing wires. Yeah, so what we do for that is obviously with this cutter here, you can cut wire all day long, mm -hmm. no problem. Now the insulation on the wire needs to be stripped, so you take the same cutter and just kind of put it on there, kiss it a little bit, take your thumb, Push it off, Strip it. no insulation. And once it's stripped, obviously you can splice them yeah, all together. Yeah, we do that a lot too. Yeah, You'd splice them together, twist yeah. them, put the wine on. And then in terms of the screwdriver, you choose a flat tip. Um, you don't choose Phillips and flat. Why just flat? Our first point of access is usually the cover. Oh. And these are all slotted screwdrivers. So we have to take that off, get to it. And this flat tip will do the same thing on a device that has a Phillips and a flat tip. Mm -hmm. So we always get it there. You can get a good turn on it. Now also, we have to take the lock nuts, the, the knockouts out, so we use this tool here, bang that out, twist it out, put the connector in, it's got this crazy look and they call it a lock nut. Push so this is out. one of the reasons why you have so few tools, you're actually using these things for really more than a, uh, a hammer. Yeah, right? Yeah, Any different it. purpose. So we take it and we'll just take this and now in that same angle, we can take this tool and drive a staple in, which we do a lot. So we take the staple, take it, wow. a few bangs, it's in, and a little twist, pull, and it's out. Now, if we got some wood in the way, we don't have a chisel, we'll just take the wood out of the way. God forbid so you guys it's actually good. go in the truck and get a chisel. I do like the longer ones, because a lot of the stuff we do is deep. We have to get down in there. So right. this is it right here. All right. So that's uh, all you need. Yeah, and I want you to have these, Kevin. You. <laughs> You're a good man. All right. No, but you'll be unemployed. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. <laughs>